Good morning, this is Paula Ward, AKA 22Fit Mama, and I'm here with my last series of the week. I hope you guys have all enjoyed the multiple people that I have had on. Um, I've really learned some cool things this week. I've had great conversations with these people, and um, I've learned a lot. Um, my guest today, hello Yannick, how are you? Good morning, hope it's warm and sunny Miami. It's not sunny here. Uh, but my special guest is going to be the reason that I started all this, and it is Peter Ward, a.k.a. Beeps. We all have aliases here, right, Pete? Mm -hmm. um, so I thought, you got to come in a little bit more. <laughs> Before I go to bed, I would just check in with you guys and thank you guys for joining us with our series. Some of them he was involved with, some of them not. Um... But since we talked about coaches and some of the things that have helped Peter, I thought, why don't I go to the source and ask Peter some of the things that he thought helped him become a better sports um, or athlete, and what were some things that I did? Did they help or did they not help? So I had him, I tried to get it a little bit organized, and I said, can you give me like three things? So what were some of the things that we did that kind of helped you um, hit better? <laughs> And daddy's home and the dog's barking. So, hang on a second. We'll have to hold. Go on. So anyways, so we were talking and we came up with three things that helped him with um, basically improving his baseball. And also I asked him three things he thought his coach helped him the most with. Hello, Aunt Karen. We're in here chatting with... Peter Ward, a.k.a. B. Thank you for joining. Sorry though the dog out. He's attacking the neighbors. So anyways, Peter, what are three things that you thought helped you with baseball? And even basketball or any of your sports this year? I think you kind of going over the game in the car after. Um, doing what I did wrong and doing what I did right. But um, then after that, um, I could see a bad game I had, but even find the littlest thing that was right. And... Um, then I can just improve on what I did wrong from that. Okay. And a second thing? Um, second thing was just doing the drills at home. Um, taught me good worth ethic. Um, you know, in the summer I went out every day doing my pitching drills, hitting drills. Um, and um, not only helped me with baseball, but also helped me with, like, homework. I do it every day. Um first thing I do when I get home, um, help me with things later in life other than baseball or your sports in general. And one more thing, my friend. Um, when, um, I ever got up to hit or pitch or whatever, my mom would always record it, and, um, instead of her telling me what I did wrong, um, she'd be able to show me what I did wrong, so then I can improve on that, and, um, then um, I know what I can do visually, and I know what I can do up here. So um, if my um, hands aren't in the right place, I'll know next time that I'll put a mental mode in. And um, that um, I'll put my hands lower or higher, and um, it's helped a lot. So basically, you were your, your own coach. Yeah. And I didn't have to tell you, because I don't know what I'm talking about. I only know what I see in MLB on TV, and I've watched a lot of it, but I learned more from him than I learned from anybody. Um, we also thought, like, what were a couple things that the coaches did that kind of made a difference in your game? Well, one thing was going over um, everyone's game, not just mine. So um, if um, I got in, like, a pickle or something, um, if I got um, fooled or something like that, um, I'd know not to do it. If someone threw me out at first or something, I'll know what to do next time, um, because it brings it to everyone's attention and not mine, so, therefore, um, no one should make that mistake again, or at least, or at least they'll be less likely, um, so whenever he does that, he points something out that I did, I know I'll definitely not try and do it again, or at least not be as careless as that time. So you took it as constructive criticism, yeah. not that he was singling out, well, that's yeah. good. Um, anything else? Um, about hitting. I know we talked about in an earlier video, hello Adam, how are you, about developing a tick to kind of help you relax when you get up to bat, like, you know, adjusting your gloves. So what's your thing when you get up to the plate to kind of relax now? 
Um, I noticed you've, sat, you've sort of slowed down going into the box like you used to. You used to jump in and just hit it like an animal. Yeah, um, I kind of just, like, um, play with this little thing my aunt gave me or whatever. It kind of just helps me calm down, you know, helps me fidget. Like, um, I'm a lot less um, nervous when I get up. Um, because, um, before everything was going all crazy in my mind or whatever, um, now everything's calm and, um, whenever I did that, um, I either got good hits or my home runs that I've hit this season. Any one thing one of the coaches said that kind of stuck in your mind? Um, well, Darren, Darren especially said a lot, a lot of things I was saying stay in my mind for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, Mostly with the hitting, um, keeping my head in, um, stuff like that. But um, it could be anything, and um, I just replay it in my mind because um, I know when something feels different um, because I did it so many times. I know exactly next time I swing or whenever I get it back up, I know I'll change that, and then... Um, I usually get a hit or something like that. So now we were talking about that there was one player you could meet, and in, in any sport really, who would you like to meet? Derek Jeter. And why would you say that? Um, mainly because he's um just a hardworking guy, um nice guy, great role model, um, and um. You I'm, read his book, right? Yeah. His papa had given you his book. Yeah. And um. What was one thing that stuck out in the book? One thing was his contract that he signed when I think he was around my age right now. Um, one one of them was um, be a good role model, um, do your schoolwork, do your chores, respect others, respect yourself. And um, mainly I've been trying to follow that um, since I read it. And... Um, you know, um, if I don't do one of those, um, I kind of just try and remember to do that, um, do it better, something like that. But, um, if I don't do one of the, um, things or if I do something wrong, um, I'll try and make it better. Like, um, in fact, I'd only be mean to someone, I'll try and say, I'm sorry or whatever, try and make it, make them feel better. But, um, Yeah. All right, Pete, thank you. We'll actually show, um, I have a turned out of that contract that he signed. It was, it was actually really kind of cool. So I'd like to thank Peter Ward, a.k.a. Beef, for joining me as my special guest. And next week is going to be uh, survival mode for the new sports mom is going to be my theme. And I will do a whole bunch of things on that. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay dry in the Northeast. We're getting a lot of rain. Hopefully we get some baseball. Peter's actually going to the Neshoba um, Futures game. They basically announced all the players in Bolton um, as potential players for the high school. Um, so that should be fun. So hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed all uh, everything that I discussed this week. If you have any ideas, please post below any comments. Um, and I can look into it because i got plenty of friends. And there are all kinds of things that I can uh, share with you guys. Thank you, Peter. Whoops. And uh, hopefully, maybe this is your first interview, and we can show it on, like, Sports Center later, huh? Who knows? We can only hope. But anyways, hope you guys have a great Saturday. I am off to bed, and I hope this and the series helped you live your best life. Thank you.